Hey, what's going on everyone? Josh Quinones here and in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a full-on battery drain test with the brand new Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. Now this is usually a test that I do when it comes to smartphones to really put the battery to the test and see if it can actually get me through a full day of heavy usage or not. And I also did the same exact test with the original Galaxy Watch and it actually performed very well. So very impressed with the performance of battery life on the original Galaxy Watch. And this is actually the LTE model right here, the Galaxy Watch 3 that I have on my wrist right here is the Bluetooth model. So just keep that in mind when watching this video. I will be using this watch for pretty much everything that I possibly can, like text messaging, maybe a couple of phone calls, checking my emails, tracking my steps, tracking my exercises when it comes to walking or jogging. So it's gonna be putting that GPS to use as well, which tends to drain the battery just a bit more than if you're just having it rest on your wrist. And I will also be using it to track my sleep as well. Now I did take this off the charger at at 7 35 this morning it is now 10 45 a.m so about three hours and 10 minutes of usage so far and we are now at 85 percent battery life so 15 percent battery life already down the drain so really curious to see how much usage I'm gonna be able to get out of this watch right here. I am currently using the always on display and then brightness is set at six. So those are my settings for now. I do have my location on and Bluetooth on. Now, when I took it off the charger this morning, it did say I had around 4,000 steps already, even though I didn't use it all night. The reason it had a little over 4,000 steps was because I actually went into work about 12 midnight last night. And like I said, it is now uh, 10 45 a.m. AM, so I'm a little bit tired as you can see I didn't even shave for this video but my phone was actually tracking my steps so when I got home it actually synced over to my watch so I didn't know if you guys noticed that when I showed the clip of me taking this off the charger just so there's no confusion there that's why the watch showed about 4,000 steps but yeah like I said I'm gonna be using this for as much as I possibly can with the first thing being after I turn this camera off right now sleep tracking because like I said I did go into work at 12 a.m. it is now 10 45 a.m. I am exhausted I'm ready for a nap so the next thing I'll be doing is some sleep tracking with this watch so I'll be catching up with you guys in another couple of hours to let you know how the battery is doing on this smartwatch. Woo! It is hot out here. Y'all better make sure you subscribe and like this video because I am putting in work for this battery drain test. Currently out here right now taking this jog in 118 degree weather to test out to see how well the battery does when using this watch to track my run when it comes to the time, it's tracking my heart rate, it's tracking the distance, and once I'm done with my whole run, it's going to show me an actual map of everywhere that I ran. So it's using that GPS tracking as well. So I'm sure the battery's really gonna take a hit. Now it is about 10 and a half hours into the whole test. So that's about seven and a half hours from earlier when I have first uh, updated you guys on what the battery life was with this watch. Hi, I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. It ain't easy running out here in 118 degree weather, but I'm doing it for you guys. So like I said, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. So let's go ahead and take a look at the watch itself and check it out. All right, so currently tracking my run right now, we're about 14 minutes into it, a little over a mile, and it is currently tracking my heart rate. Then going to the home screen, you can see it is obviously keeping the time, still tracking my steps, over 12,000 steps for the day. And as you can see the weather right there, 118 degrees so yeah pretty hot out here for a run but i'm doing it for you guys and battery percentage is now at 56 percent battery life so almost down half the battery life within about 10 and a half hours now it's not doing as good as the original galaxy watch did with its test but to be fair the battery on this watch is a bit smaller than what we had on the original galaxy watch so for the size of the battery it's probably not doing too bad as you can see i did also switch out the watch strap took the one from my original galaxy watch and put it on this one because i ain't using no leather straps to be out here sweating all over it and exercising or anything like that but so far i think the test is going okay i already knew this run was going to drain that battery quite a bit i also used it for my sleep tracking which let me go ahead and go over to that screen so as you can see here it did track the nap that i took earlier and actually did a pretty good job it was pretty accurate i checked the time before i took the nap and the time i woke up and it was off by just a couple minutes so it actually did a pretty good job i was pretty accurate at that and it does it automatically you don't have to set anything up you just basically lay down and fall asleep and it starts tracking your nap or 
your sleep throughout the night. So other than that, I've also been using this watch to send out every text message that I send out and read every text message that I get. I also used it for one short phone call. I believe the phone call was about a little over five minutes. And I also have been using it to take pictures with my device, which I will show you guys in a future video. I'll show you guys how to do that. There's a certain app that you use where you can use your watch to take a picture with your phone. So if you don't have a note device, but you still kind of want that capability of being able to step away from your phone when taking pictures, you can use your watch. Like I said, I'll show you guys that in a future video. But yeah, so far at 56% battery life, Really curious to see how well this watch is going to do for the rest of today and then into tomorrow. I'm sure it's not going to die today. So I'll probably update you guys one more time before I go to bed and before it starts that sleep tracking. And then again, when I wake up in the morning and then we'll see how far we can get into tomorrow. So once I'm done with my run here, I'm going to get home workout. So I'll also be using this to track my workout as well. Every single workout that I do. So I'm sure that's going to have some effect on the battery as well. But Really curious to see what happens. I will see you guys in another couple of hours. All right, so I am back again with another update and look at that, it is now 2.14 a.m. I know, I know it is really late. I should probably be in bed already, which I am about to go to sleep right now, but I just wanted to update you guys real quick before I head to bed. So we are now at 25% battery life. As you can see, still tracking my steps, 813 steps since midnight. I know I do a lot of walking and then it's still tracking the weather as well. As you can see there, I've also been using Using this to still receive and send my text messages. I took two more phone calls using this watch. I also used it for a timer earlier and I also used it to track the rest of my workouts earlier after the last time I updated you guys. So when I last updated you guys I was still out running or walking and I still had to make it home after that update so it still had to track that run. Let me go into my log here. So as you can see, this is a workout after my run, did a minute of pull-ups, and then running 28 minutes and 53 seconds. So I believe the last time I updated you guys, it was around 14 minutes of running. So here we got another 14, 15 minutes of running, and then 44 minutes of other workouts. So definitely bringing that battery down. And like I said, I've been using it for all my text messages and two more phone calls. And then I'm about to go to sleep right now and it's going to automatically track my sleep. Now I did go ahead and turn off the always on display because honestly, I'm gonna be asleep. I really don't need that always on display on right now, but when I wake up in the morning, I will turn that back on. And yeah, so this is your nightly update. We got 25% battery life left to go. Really curious to see just how much further it's going to be able to go into tomorrow. So. I will see you guys once I wake up in the morning to see where battery life is at after I've been asleep for a couple of hours. So I will see you then. All right, second cup of coffee for the morning. Woo, it is hot. All right, so it is now 11.25 a.m. the next morning. We are now at 14% battery life, so just past that 15% mark. Now, once it gets to that 15% mark, the watch automatically wants to put itself into that battery saving mode. But I went ahead and pressed no for the sake of this video because I really wanna see just how far the battery can go without having to put it in that battery saving mode. So again, 11.25 a.m., 14% battery life, still tracking my steps, got 2,000 for, you know what, just let me go ahead and show you guys. Okay. So now the battery actually just dropped down to 13% battery life as you can see there. And as you just saw right now, my always on display just turned on. So I went ahead and turned that on as soon as I woke up this morning. So you can see still tracking my steps, still tracking the weather. Now I also used this to track other things this morning when I woke up. So let me go ahead and go over to my health app. Where are you? Right there. There you go. So I also use this to track my BPM. So you can see 53 PPM. That was 27 minutes ago. I also used it to track my oxygen levels. As you can see, 98%. And I can go ahead and measure it again. So go ahead and do it just to drain the battery a little bit more. And you can also see how long it takes to do this test. Quarter of the way there. Almost halfway. There we go. Halfway there. Almost there. Come on. Come on. We can make it. We can make it. It did not tell, oh, okay, there we go. Okay, it is recommended to place your hand on a table and near your heart as shown above. Okay, I'm not gonna do that right now. I didn't do that earlier, so I don't know how it came up with this. Maybe because I was super still, not really sure. So as you can see, I did use it to track all that and I also used it to track my sleep last night. Well, it automatically tracks my sleep as you can see here, six hours and 13 minutes, but 
if you go down a little bit actual sleep time was five hours and 17 minutes so it'll tell you when you were awake so say you're just laying there in bed you haven't fallen asleep yet 55 minutes i was awake just kind of laying there in bed until i finally fell asleep so kind of gives you a little bit more information into detail right here so yeah this is where we are at so far 13 percent battery life at 11 30 a.m i did use this to send out a couple of text messages this morning and like i said again it was tracking my steps i did go to the store so i will update you guys as soon as this hits zero percent can't wait to see how far i'm going to be able to get into the rest of this day only 13 percent battery left actually not doing too bad honestly i thought it was going to be a lot lower when i woke up this morning but it doesn't seem to be doing too bad so i will see you guys in another couple of hours or maybe the next hour or two who knows how long this is going to last but i will see you guys in a bit okay so literally in the middle of my workout here at home as you can see got my weights down there got some mr beast playing there in the background but literally in the middle of my workout i had to stop because the battery is now down to one percent so i finally got it to die down i didn't want to let it get to zero because then i wouldn't be able to actually show you guys so it is now 2 40 p.m okay so as you can see we are now at one percent battery life it is now 2 42 p.m we are at 3712 steps so of course still tracking my steps still tracking the weather and i was literally just using it right now to track my workouts as well so let me go into my workouts here so you can see what i was using it for hopefully this doesn't die on me while i'm doing this like i said we are one percent battery life so i was using it for some shoulder presses right now bench presses some push-ups and then i literally just started my workout a little while ago so been using started using this to track that workout and then the battery is died down to one percent so i've also used this to send out some more text messages uh check messages one more phone call as well and of course like i said it's been tracking my steps so and also the always on display has been on as well so as you can see if i kind of tilt my watch that way the always on display turns on so that's been running in the background as well so it is now 2 43 p.m i took this off the charger at 7 35 a.m yesterday so it's been about a day and a half honestly i was really hoping for a little bit better battery life but then again i was using this a lot for a lot of different things like i said i was also using this to take pictures as well with my phone which i will have coming up in a future video but honestly i don't think it did too bad at least for me personally I don't really mind it because I'm probably not going to be using that sleep tracking every night. I just did it for the purpose of this video. For those who are possibly thinking about using this for your sleep tracking, me personally, I don't really feel comfortable with the watch on my wrist while I am asleep. So either way, I can always just throw this on a charger at night. As long as this watch is making it through an entire day of usage until I'm ready to go to bed at night, I am totally fine with that because... I can just throw it on the charger overnight while I am asleep. But if you're someone who likes to wear your watch multiple days without having to throw it on the charger, well, here is your answer. Now, of course, the results will be different for everyone. Everybody's usage is different and everybody's settings are going to be different. Not everybody is the same when it comes to using their watch or any other type of device. So again, your results might not be what I got here today. They might be even better than what I got here today. Like I said, I was trying to use this for pretty much everything that I possibly can. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comments sections below. What do you think about the results that I got? And if you got this watch for yourself, what kind of results are you getting? Let me know down in the comment sections below. I'd love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, it took me about a day and a half to do this test. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come, which I will be having many videos come out for this watch and a lot of other new Samsung devices coming out as well. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave it a huge thumbs up if you did like it and find it helpful. Look at that. Just died down to 0%. You guys just witnessed that. 0%. So we totally got this di to die down to 0%. So again, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Josh Quinones. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out.